humanoids aren't just improving anymore, they're crossing a line. Elon Musk revealed Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 can run for real this time. Figure AI answered immediately. Their Figure 03 runs like it has springs in its legs. But here's the twist. A robot from the early 2000s quietly did all of this first, and it might still be the benchmark everyone's chasing. Hey guys, welcome to NextGen AI. We're diving into the running war between Optimus Gen 3 and Figure 03. When Figure 03 runs, the entire body has this elastic, springy quality, feet rolling from heel to toe, arms swinging with a natural rhythm, and a noticeable flight phase where both feet leave the ground. Optimus Gen 3, meanwhile, looks more grounded, less bounce, more forward push. The strides look longer, the torso stays steady, and the robot feels like it's powering down a factory hallway with intent. Even the environments tell the story. Figure Zero 3 jogs through a clean office space, takes a smooth 180-degree turn mid-run, and keeps going as if it's improvising the motion. Optimus Gen 3 stays on a straight, controlled path, consistent speed, deliberate posture, and a focus on staying balanced without any dramatic shifts. Figure uses a 23 do f system with gear-driven precision. Tesla uses a heavier, tendon-based architecture with over 40 total do f Figure's Helix AI model learns whole body coordination like a human athlete. Tesla's end-to-end -end network learns directly from video and high-speed simulation. One robot prioritizes grace, the other prioritizes robustness. To understand why Figure 03's run looks the way it does, we need to zoom in on the details that make its movement feel almost instinctive. In the clip shared by Brett Adcock, Figure 03 starts with a steady jog across a polished floor, arms pumping naturally, posture relaxed. The big moment is the 180-degree pivot. The robot plants its foot, rotates its hips, swings its arms for counterbalance, and continues the run without hesitation. That pivot is something humans do instinctively, but robots historically fail at. It requires rotating the body while maintaining momentum, which means the AI must coordinate dozens of micro-adjustments in less than a second. And the wild part? The motion doesn't look programmed. It looks learned. The reason it looks natural is Figure's neural control stack. Their Helix model processes what the robot sees, what its joints feel, and what the foot sensors detect. Under the hood, the robot trains through massive reinforcement learning simulations where it performs millions of virtual sprints, slips, and recoveries. Each success is rewarded, each failure becomes a correction. This is exactly how a human toddler learns to run, except Figure can compress years of practice into hours. Figure 03 is also 9% lighter than its predecessor, which gives it a more buoyant gait. When Figure 03 lifts off the ground, even for a fraction of a second, it's enough to classify as true running, not fast walking. And that alone places Figure 03 among the most human-like runners ever shown in a commercial humanoid. On the other side of the rivalry, Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 shows a very different interpretation of what running should look like. The first thing you notice is consistency, the stride is steady, the torso barely oscillates, and the robot maintains a predictable rhythm that feels engineered for real-world deployment. Tesla showed Optimus jogging down a factory corridor. The motion was clearly designed to highlight control rather than style. The hips and ankles adjust subtly to keep the center of gravity aligned. The knees bend with deliberate control rather than bounce. What Tesla didn't show is just as important. We didn't see transitions, how Optimus starts running or how it stops. These are the hardest parts of robot locomotion, especially for a tall, heavy humanoid. We didn't see turning or uneven terrain. We didn't see lateral adjustments or changes in speed. But what we did see hints at rapid improvement. Tesla's end-to-end -end neural network learns from massive video datasets and simulation cycles powered by Dojo. In other words, 
Tesla is training Optimus the same way they train autonomous vehicles, letting the system learn patterns from real human motion rather than hand-coding behavior. The result is a robot that looks more confident than it did even a few months ago. When you compare this clip to the 2023 videos, where Optimus could barely walk without assistance, the difference is staggering. And Tesla's new Gen 2.5 hand and autonomous charging pad reinforce the idea that Tesla isn't chasing flashy demos. They're building the fundamental pieces for a real worker robot. Running isn't about showing off. It's about testing balance, torque control, and real-world responsiveness, skills that transfer directly into factory tasks. And here's a perspective many people forget. None of this is completely new. The breakthroughs we're seeing today stand on the shoulders of robots that were already running decades ago. Long before Figure or Tesla, Honda's Asimo was jogging across stages in the early 2000s. Asimo could hit nine kilometers per hour, hop on one foot. And then there's Boston Dynamics Hydraulic Atlas, the monster that ran outdoors, performed parkour routines that still look unreal today. Those robots were ahead of their time, showing the world that bipedal motion didn't have to be stiff or fragile. They proved what was possible long before AI caught up. Today's breakthroughs are standing on foundations of those prototypes built decades earlier. Which robot feels closer to a real human runner to you? Figure 03's Smooth Pivot or Optimus Gen 3's Controlled Stride? Let us know in the comments. But while the past laid the foundation, the present is evolving even faster. And one of the strongest signals comes from China, where Engine AI's T800 has just stepped into the running arena. T800, inspired by the Terminator aesthetic, isn't just a visual statement. It's built with massive torque, up to 450 newton meters per actuator, which gives it explosive leg movement and the ability to absorb high impact forces during sprints. Engine AI even built active cooling directly into the joints to prevent overheating during high stress motion. The T800's running clip showed powerful strides, aggressive posture, and a clear flight face. It looks less like a friendly home robot and more like an athlete preparing for a competition, which makes sense because Engine AI is literally entering the T-800 into Mecha King, the world's first humanoid combat event. When a new player enters the race with this much confidence, you know the global humanoid landscape is shifting. So what does all of this mean? Running isn't the goal. Running is the stress test. These are the skills that allow humanoids to walk on uneven ground, carry objects, climb stairs, and operate safely near humans. That's why Figure 03, Optimus Gen 3, and T-800 all showing running abilities within the same cycle feels like a milestone moment. We've moved past the era of can robots walk and entered the era of which robots will survive in the real world. If these robots raced in a 100-meter sprint today, who wins? Figure 03, Optimus Gen 3, or the T-800? Drop your thoughts below.